They're tiny. Won't even won't even make it for cow, cattle feed. This is uh, this is a lost tree. And that's just one of the hundreds infected with the bacterial disease called citrus greening. It was introduced to Florida in the early 2000s and has slowly devastated local farmers, turning this booming business into a loss. We're losing money trying to grow certain uh, varieties. According to the University of Florida's Institute for Agriculture Sciences, otherwise known as IFAS, Florida alone has lost $3.6 billion in revenues over citrus since 2007. Right now, what they need more than anything is just a solution to help them buy time until a long-term solution is developed. With the help of the latest technology and a $1 million grant from the state, researchers are working on developing two different ways to attack the disease. That temporary solution would be a spray that could treat some of the already infected trees in hopes that they could prolong the life of that tree. They're also trying to develop a tree that would be completely resistant to the symptoms of citrus greening, which causes fruit to be smaller and fall off the tree before it's ripe. They plan on targeting the genes that make the trees vulnerable to the disease and eliminating them. A lot of the small growers are going out of business because they just can't afford to keep going. Right now our hope is we can just get those solutions out in the hands of growers while they're still in business. For local growers, this new research is their last hope. It had been an iconic piece of Florida's history and we have a, a, a duty to carry that forward. Bailey Myers, News 13.